Hello friends, in our previous lecture, we discussed about the contributors to the industrial engineering field. Now, in this particular lesson or in this particular lecture, we are going to discuss about the different tools and techniques of industrial engineering. I think while discussing this particular part, we already come across with one particular term, which is called as the most important term as far as industrial engineering field is concerned. And that term is regarding productivity. If someone asks you how we should define this particular productivity, then the simple and straightforward definition for this particular productivity is it is a quantity ratio of output to input. Obviously, we are going to dedicate one separate lesson on this particular productivity. But for this particular tools and technique, we require this particular term productivity because my industrial engineer is always run behind this particular productivity and to improve the productivity, the different tools and techniques which my industrial engineer is using that we are going to discuss in this particular lesson. To start with this particular different tools and techniques which is used by my industrial engineering or industrial engineer, the first tool that is called as a method study. Now the question start what exactly by method study? Basically as the name itself indicates, Method study is nothing but we are going to perform specific or scientific study on that specific method for which we are going to say that this is the standard method by which it is possible for us to do that particular job. That means initially we are just going to check whether the way by which my worker is supposed to do that particular task or work is standard way or not. If it is not, that means if it is having certain, you can say the unproductive element within that particular cycle, then we are going to reshuffle those particular elements. We are going to remove those particular uh, unwanted element from that particular cycle and we are going to develop a new way by which it is possible for us to do that particular job. And thus, we are going to reintroduce that particular method, which we are going to call as the best method by which it is possible for us to do that particular job. And such type of study is called as method study. Obviously, we are going to discuss this particular method study in detail or these all these tools and techniques of industry engineering in detail in forthcoming, you can say the lectures. But for this particular slide, at a glance, we are going to see what are the different tools and techniques which my industrial engineer is supposed to do or supposed to perform to improve or increase productivity. The second tool is time study. The other name for time study is work measurement. And now as the name itself indicates, we are going to measure the content of work within that particular job or within that particular product or a component. And for that, we are going to conduct one specific study, which is called as a time study. Through time study, it is possible for me to know what is the exact time which is required for that specific job to carry out within that specified condition. And this time study gives me or will be helpful for me to decide the standard time for that particular job. And once the standard time is available with me, it is possible for me to decide the target for that particular shift or target for that particular day. And therefore, it is possible for me to just recognize or just calculate what is the probable output, which is possible from this particular workstation or from this particular, you can say, machine from that particular worker within that specific month and thus it is possible for me to give certain commitments to my end user whether it is possible for me to fulfill that particular order or not. The next tool which is used by my industrial engineer is called as a motion economy. There are various you can say motions performed by my worker and we want to find out whether those particular motions are required or not at all required whether it is possible for me to improve this particular motion or whether it is or whether there are certain you can say the unnecessary motions involved within that particular cycle by that particular operator then we should eliminate those particular unnecessary motions within that particular you can say this work cycle and thus we are come up, coming come, come up with a motion which is essential for that particular carrying out that particular job and obviously, the economy which is associated with this particular motion, that's why it is called as the motion economy. This is also most important tool which is used by my industrial engineer. The next tool 
which we are going to use within this particular industry engineering field that is called as financial and non-financial incentives. This is we, have, we are going to call as a motivational tool which is used by my industrial engineer to motivate the worker to produce more and more better and better. And as the name itself indicates financial incentives means here we are directly going to give that particular worker certain amount of money as he or she is going to give us more than that particular stated you can say the target. For example, suppose we are state for this particular shift the worker is supposed to give me 100 components and if he is going to give me 102, 104, 110 components then for that extra 2, 4 or 10 components we are going to give him or her certain financial or certain amount of extra money other than that particular wages and which is called as the incentives. And in non-financial incentives, instead of giving certain amount of money, we are giving certain facilities to those particular worker as he is producing more and more better and better and he is contributing more for the development or efficiency of that particular organization. The next tool is called as value engineering. This is also one of the most important tool which is used by my industrial engineer. Now as far as value engineering is concerned, in value engineering, basically we are always trying to improve the value of that particular product. Now here the question start how it is possible for us to improve value, what exactly mean by value, what are the different step by step procedure which we are going to adopt to improve this particular value, that particular thing we are going to discuss when we are going to deal with the lesson value engineering. But here we should know that this is one of the most important tool or technique which is used by my industrial engineer to improve productivity for that organization. The next tool is obviously the production planning and control. You may recognize this particular technique as a separate department which is called as a PPC department which is always going to involve or dealing with doing certain sort of or some sort of planning regarding the pro production. And at the same time, they are having a continuous watch on that particular activity so that they come to know whether the present activity is going on as per the plan or is there any deviation. And if there is a, any deviation between actual and plan, then this particular control comes into the picture. Obviously, this production planning and control also helpful for us to decide whether we are on right track or not whether it is possible for us to fulfill that particular target or not, whether it is possible for us to fulfill the commitments which were already given to that particular customer or not. And therefore, this production planning and control plays a very important role regarding this particular industry. The next tool and the technique which is used by my industrial engineer to increase productivity is inventory control. Now the question start what exactly mean by inventory and how it should be controlled. Basically, inventory is nothing but anything that is coming within that particular uh, industry or organization. It may be the raw material, the different tools, the different you can say the stationaries which is required for each and every department. Everything, even grease, oil that is required or essential for running of those particular, you can say machines, those are also going to be called as inventory. Now, as far as industry is concerned, if all these particular input factors are going to play a role of inventory, then one can imagine there are thousands or lakhs of, you can say, component for which we are going to call as an inventory. And how it is possible or how it will be difficult for us to control all these particular uh, inventories. Now for that we are definitely going to make use of the different you can say the models which are available in this particular engineering field to apply properly based on what type of that particular inventory and which model is suitable for our industry. We are going to discuss this particular part also in detail in forthcoming lectures. The next is regarding job evaluation. This technique is basically used to evaluate the job which we are going to be performed. What amount of work, what amount of you can say or who is the person who is the best suited for doing that particular job. What are the different features that particular person should have, what are the extra qualifications that particular person should be have. All such type of things we are going to discuss as far as this particular job evaluation is concerned. But in short, we can call as this is one sort of evaluation procedure which we are going to adopt 
for that specific job. The next you can say technique which is used by my industrial engineer is material handling system. Basically it is said that to run that particular industry smoothly it is required for us to reach that particular material as and when they are required at required destination in a required quantity and a required you can say the quality and this material handling system plays a very important role to smooth running of that particular industry. The next technique is obviously the human engineering. In some book you will find this as a ergonomics. It is just a man machine relationship which we are going to discuss in detail which will definitely going to helpful for us to improve productivity. The next technique is obviously the system analysis where we are going to perform the detailed analysis of that particular system and we are going to focus on how it is possible for us to still improve that particular system so that the productivity can be increased. The next technique is obviously the operation research techniques. This operation research is a separate field but the techniques which comes under this particular operation research we are going to adopt as it is to improve productivity. And there are certain other techniques also which we are going to use by my industrial engineer to improve productivity which is called as statistical process control, group technology and you can say ONM technique. All these techniques are used by indus my industrial engineer just to increase or improve productivity. No doubt we are going to see all these particular techniques in detail so that we come to know how to apply this particular technique, what this specific technique is and how we should increase or it is possible for us to improve productivity for my industry. Now here we are going to stop for a while and just have one question, list and explain different tools and techniques used by my industrial engineer.